Hey doing everybody, I'm Joe Price, Wilderness Skills Instructor, and I'm gonna show you how to fix this problem. So first things first, before we go to the woods, we should always prepare our stuff before we get there. You can use a Bic lighter or a clipper lighter, but basically a butane filled lighter that has a ferrocium rod and an abrasive wheel on the top of it. You want to remove the child safety lock and the wind guard that you see on the outside, just to allow ease of flicking, and then also to see in here if there's any debris or something lodged. So your lighter should always be in a waterproof bag, but what happens if your waterproof bag gets water in it or you just let it drop in a lake? So we like to put it in here for demonstration purposes. We get our marac on. Oh no, we've fallen out of canoe. It's a disaster. My poor big lighter, my one and only fire option. <laughs> what shall I do? So when you have rescued yourself and your big lighter from the water, just want to hold it upside down and let it dry out. Most people have a tenacity to start striking this wheel to get it dry, but you don't want to do that because you're wasting the gas and you're wasting the resource of the ferrocium that's in here. Just give it a shake, be patient, give it a bit of a, a blow. Try to blow across the mouth of where the butane comes out of the nozzle. Try not to blow down into the lighter just in case there's some particulates in there or the water gets further down lodged. You can simply give yourself a little click and I can hear that the gas is already back. Then we take our lighter and we just slowly get it to where it needs to go. I can hear that the gas has stopped coming out there so I repeat the process again giving it a shake. Not wasting my ferrocerium on useless strikes. Again, checking for the gas. The gas has stopped, so that means water is still lodged in there. It's a small process. Okay, shake and repeat, shake and repeat. There we go, easy game. Easy life, and the power of a big.